Hi, I'm Jack Rodgers, welcome back to the channel. We're talking about Windows 10. I've had it installed on the new PC that I, I built, um, and there's links up on my channel f um, so you can actually look at those builds. And I've plugged it into my HDMI telly, and I've got, this telly is uh, 40, 40 inch, but when you actually um, power up Windows and Windows loads in, it doesn't actually fit the whole of the window. It finds it's gone too wide and it's gone too high. Even though the resolution is correct, but you, you got on the side on the side bits here you have icons half missing at the bottom where you normally have your taskbar and your clock it's half missing so half it's showing half it's missing so i'll give you an example here so it's quite hard to video my screen so i thought i'll do a picture I'll take a snap picture of it as well so that's what, that's what's happening with the icons so we're going to show you a tutorial very quickly how you can actually squash the screen down a little bit so top and bottom and sides all fit in correctly then you can use your big screen as your main monitor for, for playing games and also use it as a standard monitor. Right, so on the screen here, we've got the, the icons slightly missing uh, on the screen. So we've got, you probably won't see it on here, but because um, I'm also looking at the monitor, um, but the, these icons here are half on screen, half off screen, and the bottom bar here, as I showed you in the, the picture, it's um, half on, half off. So. Way to prep this, especially on this type of graphics card. It's not all graphics card actually does this, so but if you do do get this effect on your big screen, so this is on a, a 50 inch LG uh, 4K um, TV. This is um, and this is how you actually correct it. So right mouse click uh, and go to display settings. So uh, graphics properties and it loads up the right loads up the software for your graphics driver. So in, in this case, this is an Intel. HD graphics control um, graphics card, which is the onboard one for the motherboard itself, which is on a gigabit motherboard. So what we need to do is set prop display. So if you've got another manufacturer, it'd be sort of very similar to the same. You might have to sort of nose around within the software product to pick up the right settings and stuff. So on this setting here, um, basically I've on this settings here, you've got preview screen here. So if I move my mouse over. And these are the bits here you need to adjust. Uh, uh, that's for the um, squashing the screen down a bit, and this is actually squashing the sides in. So we want to bring it down a little bit. So if I move this down, obviously you won't be able to see it on this tutorial, but the screen is shrinking down to the side. So I'll keep pulling it down until the taskbar comes into view, which is about now. Just make sure one more, 60. So we do about 65. So then now, now the taskbar is in full view. So it's a nice, I can actually see the taskbar now and I can see the clock. Now my icons on the left hand, left hand side of this is still sort of half there. So again, we move this one in. Probably move it in about the same as we've got the top. Or if you keep moving it, you'll see it on the screen it's, it's coming in. As soon as your clock comes into shape, now icons appear on the screen. Um, then you can say it's safe to say it's done. So about 72. So there we go, that's all in there now. So now all my icons are all in proper view on the screen and at the bottom, task by the bottoms here and I can actually see the clock and date um, perfectly. Um, so it's nice. So so now I just click, a, click apply and a new settings will be applied. Do you, want to, uh, do you want to keep these settings? Yes, I do. Now here you can actually create a profile and then you can name the profile to what you want. So if you've got different monitors you're using on your PC, you can actually have different profiles with different screens. I already saved this um, profile and I've called it LG 4K. So when I click on LG 4K, it'll load my profile. Fantastic. So now that'll, that'll keep my profile on here. So if I decide to plug this into a different piece, different monitor or different TV screen and does the same sort of thing, I can actually do the exact same process we've just done now, create a new profile for it and it's saved on, on my PC. So it's great if you're moving your PC around to your friend's house and you plug it into their big telly and stuff, you can then custom a profile for it. So job done. And then we'll just close this off. And now you can play with Windows 10 that fits on your screen perfectly. So I hope this is, uh, helps you and I hope this is, um, uh, helps you with, or comes, well, hopefully helps you with, uh, fix your issues if you have the same issues what, what we're having here. Uh, if you like this, please like the video and remember to subscribe. And also, if you have any questions on this tutorial, um, please then comment below.